Hi, this is Jerry3904. I'm a developer with MX Linux, and I'm here to introduce the community respin of MX Linux Fluxbox for Raspberry Pi. The first beta has gone up now, and it's open for testing. As this, as this image shows, it's created with, with Raspberry Pi operating system underneath and MX Fluxbox on top as the window manager. So let's start with asking where the apps are. How do I get to the apps? Basically, an MX Flux box, it's highly redundant. There's many ways to get to it, uh, a given app. I'm just going to show one of the easiest ways. So the first, the most traditional way is to right click the desktop. This is the Flux box menu. That's the menu for the window manager itself, Flux box. Um, you can see a few. Uh, above the line, you can see a few entries here. All apps will open a big, a big uh, menu. Uh, the most important ones we'll come back to later about a, a settings or configuration. This is particularly useful for us, is that you can kill or toggle things all the time just by right clicking. And I like to usually hide my dock, for instance. So that's the Fluxbox menu with a right click on the desktop. The most obvious thing for most people would be the Start MX logo here. Um, when you click that, you'll get a full categorical menu. This is XFCE's um, App Finder, it's called. It's very handy, it's very easy, it's quick. Uh, you can, uh, it has lots of really useful tricks. A second one is um, <clears throat> something I use a lot, it's called Rofi. It's a very handy, very fast, non-categorical menu. Your logo key on your keyboard is most likely, uh, um, should be, a key to it. So if I hit that, this is Rofi showing D-Run, which is a menu type thing. And this list includes everything both in the name and in the comment. So that, for instance, if I want to get a spreadsheet, but I don't know what it's called, I can just start spreadsheet. And there's LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet right there. So it's very, very fast, very convenient. Um, you could, you'll see other ways to get it as well, but it's something you'll, you'll get. When you don't know where things are, hit Rofi and start typing. Um, there is the dock, of course. Um, uh, the dock, which these uh, series of doc of items here. The question mark is the MX Fluxbox help document. This is Thunar, the file manager, uh, MX Tools, VLC, the media player. These are the three Raspberry, the clone, the beginner's guide, and the configuration. This is MX, this is Office Suite, LibreOffice, the terminal, clause mail, and Firefox. Uh, if you, can, you can right click those if you want to get a little bit better idea. Uh, you can hover for, for, um, hover for uh, the tooltip. That'll, that'll figure out. So how do we do configuration of it? We know how to get the apps. How do we do configuration? Well, for the window manager, we're going to right click again and we can configure appearance here uh, by using these entries. This is a desktop um, system uh, display item, Conky. Uh, this operating system comes with a collection of 50 different Conkeys that are uh, available. This is this will trigger um, DockMaker to, uh, to um, configure your dock. This is desktop icons. Let me move this out of the way. This desktop icon, for instance, I can right click it and just delete that and that's using that uh, that's using that that thing. Monitor style. This is the style of the menus and the window frames. This is LXDE's uh, theme chooser. This is the toolbar. We can have either what you're looking at a traditional Windows 95 uh, toolbar, or we can have a Fluxbox toolbar up at the top, which is very nice. And finally, wallpapers. These wallpapers are in the uh, in the Fluxbox folder in your home. It's a hidden folder, Fluxbox folder in your home directory. 
um, Control H will show you the hidden files and then it's in the inside of that in something called backgrounds and this you can simply click and switch the background as you like. Uh, the the, the um, one thing about the menu down at the bottom is that if you hold your cursor over there you'll see on these things it says start app finder pipe Rofi and we're using that to mean left click right click so I already showed you that the left click would produce the this app finder and the right click produces Rofi so it's a very handy way to have very few number of icons and um, figure out what's going on. This is the configuration icon for the uh, for the for the panel down there. It's called a tint to panel, and you would left click it to get the full configuration for that panel, and right click it to get those configuration um, uh, entries in the root menu that I showed you earlier. Moving over for another one here, over the clock, you'll see that the left click will give us a calendar and right click will give us a, a, an application called date time that allows to you to adjust the date and time of if your system, if it's not automatically done correctly. Now what about software? Um, in terms of maintenance, down in, the, in this lower right uh, or the end of the Fluxbox ones, this is MX Updater. It will track uh, all the upgrades available for the repositories that are listed. There are three of them, uh, two, two Raspberry Pi and one MX Linux. And it'll turn red and give you a notice, a pop-up, when, uh, when there is something to... Uh, some, some an upgrade is necessary you just click um, these are clear this is this is the clip it for uh, this is this is network manager and the audio here and the app. so that's that's maintenance of software um, I haven't mentioned yet of uh, MX tools which is this icon or you can hit F5 MX tools which is kind of a well-known uh, characteristic of MX Linux and um, you'll see down here in utilities for instance that both iDesk tool for the desktop icons and DocMaker these are both native applications uh, are available in, in, in MX tools but also LXDE's very very nice add remove software which is categorical and very handy um, well structured you can add or remove and that's the way that you really want to try to deal that and then third for there is an advanced software management which is known as synaptic it's an older but highly useful uh, highly useful uh, mechanism for dealing with software uh, just be careful about installing any new packages from the MX repository. Um, well, I, we've installed the ones that are suitable and don't interfere with Raspberry Pi, so be very careful about that. And so finally, a little bit more help. You saw, the, you saw this help document, or maybe I didn't throw it up, but it's, uh, it has a lot of useful links uh, for the apps for MX Fluxbox and for Raspberry Pi, and those are really useful. I will point out that there's a dedicated win uh, video channel for uh, MX Fluxbox. Uh, there's also one for MX Linux. Uh, so um, there is a complete, uh, much more detailed description of this release on our website, right on the main page, mxlinux.org. The news, um, the news item, the first news item will be that. So this is a fast, stable, and fun uh, operating system, and we hope that you enjoy using it. Thanks.